Hi, this is Billy from the Burning Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super soft cottony pork floss bun. And nowadays, you know, it's so expensive to buy from the bakery. So why not you just uh, make it as a family activities with your children and your grandchildren? I'm sure they will enjoy it just like mine did. For this uh, pork floss bun, I'm using a basic Asian sweet bun recipe. This recipe is uh, very versatile. You can actually use this to bake many kinds of Asian bakery buns like sausage bun, pork or pao, and also the pork floss bun. Do you want to know what is the secret to make the bread super super soft and super cottony? I'm using the Tanjong Ru method which most Japanese bakery used. That's why their bread is super soft and super nice. This is the Tanjong Ru that I prepared earlier. By cooking some of the flour with water and when you add it onto the dough, it makes the dough more hydrated and as a result, the bread will become moist after it's baked. To make the Tanjong Ru, First of all, you add in 25 gram of bread flour with 125 ml of water. Mix it well to form a solution and make sure there's no lumps. And place the pot over a stove to cook over low heat. Stirring it constantly. When the roux is ready, you will be able to see the bottom of the pot as you stir the mixture. And then you transfer the roux to the bowl to cool. So if you have been very observant, you notice that I got a new toy, you know? my Panasonic bread maker and this one is very useful because it helps you to make a bread without you dirtying your hand it also can be your alarm clock because when the bread is about done the whole house will smell of bread I'm sure it will go into your nose and it will wake you up it has got a digital timer which allow you to set a delay time of up to 13 hours so for example if you want your bread to be ready by tomorrow morning at 6 a.m you can start programming it from 5 p.m. until the time you go to bed. So there's a lot of time flexibility for you. So the other feature is uh, right inside here. Okay, there are two dispensers. One is a dispenser for the yeast, and the other one is a dispenser for the dried fruit as well as nuts. So you don't have to wake up halfway through the night to manually put in. You know, the next morning you will have different type of bread. You know, you want to have raisin bread, you want to have nut bread, whatever bread you want. So now we are going to make the sweet bun dough. Add in the bread flour, the tang chong ru. Next, you pour in the water along the side of the bread pan. So now I'm going to put the bread pan into the machine. Give it a twist like this. And now I've set to auto menu 9 and then press start. After 3 minutes, you stop the machine and let it rest for about 20 minutes. This is the auto list technique which is used by the French bakers. It allows the flour to fully hydrate and also allows the dough to be more stretchy and easy to shape. And next, add in the salt, sugar, milk powder, egg, condensed milk. Just go to the auto menu 9 again and press start. Then you add in the butter as well as the bread enhancer. For the yeast, add in into the dispenser. So now can you hear the sound? It means the yeast has already been dispensed. Now let the machine do its job until the end of the first proving. It will take between 45 minutes to an hour. When the weather is cold, it takes a longer time for it to rise up. Make sure that the dough doubles in size, but not more than 2.5 times. Otherwise, it becomes very yeasty and tastes like wine, you know? This dough is a little bit wet. So I'm using oil so that the dough will not stick onto my hands. Punch the dough down to release the air inside. Remove the dough and put it on the oiled surface. Divide the dough into 8 parts. Take a cutter to cut it, not to pull it. Otherwise, it will destroy the wooden strand. You have to weigh them so that all the buns are of the equal size. So now I'm going to do the shaping. Okay, uh, each tray only can put uh, four buns. 
and you notice that I put it far apart is because uh, after the proving, it will expand double the size. For the second proving, make sure that the bread double in size and it takes about 45 minutes or so. To hasten the uh, proving, we can actually put a bun in the oven and then put two bowls of hot water inside. So after the second proving, you see that the bun has doubled in size. Brush the buns very gently with egg wash if you want it to have a very shiny and glossy colour but make sure that you don't puncture the skin of the bun otherwise uh, the bun will deflate Then next you bake the buns at 180 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes Leave it to cool down for about maybe 5 minutes or so and then you transfer it uh, onto a wire rack to cool the reason why, because the bottom will have the condensation and it become very damp. Now I'm going to show you how to make the egg cream. Add the condensed milk onto the mayonnaise and I'm going to stir it. The proportion of the condensed milk to the mayonnaise is 1 into 3. If you want it sweeter, you add more condensed milk. If you want it more savoury, then add more mayonnaise. So it's all up to individual preference. I'm going to slit the bun into half work the center but not cut through just make a slit good morning see the bun give you a big smile see look how soft it is it's so spongy no matter how you squeeze it it will go back to its position and it's cottony you look like cotton isn't it now i'm going to butter the center with the egg cream then next i'm going to butter the top the surface of the bun with the egg cream then I'm going to coat it with the pork floss. For those who doesn't like to eat pork or cannot eat pork, you can actually use the chicken floss. This is my grandson, Joshua. He loves to eat pork floss bun. You look at him. Wow, another bite the other side. <laughs> wow, finger licking good, you know. Look at this. Do you like to make bread with me? Yes. So you can see how useful this uh, Panasonic uh, bread maker is. I think I'm going to make another batch of bread. I will program it tonight. And then by tomorrow morning, it will also act as my alarm clock and ring. You know, because it don't ring, but it, it can smell, you know. Okay, bye. <laughs>